In this video, we're going to talk about events that are either equally likely or not equally likely. And this has to do with how the trials are conducted in your probability experiment. Let's talk about a single die. If you roll a single die, is it equally likely that you could get any number? Well, there's one, 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 two, one, three, one, four, one, five, and one, six, and they're all the same size on the die because it's a cube. So yes, that is a case where we are equally likely. How about an odd versus an even on a single roll? Well, let's think about this. If you, what's probably of getting an odd number? Well, there's one, three, and five, so there's three of them. What's the probability of getting an even number? Two, four, and six, there's three of them. So three out of six is 50%, three out of six is 50%. So yes, those events are equally likely. How about a prime versus a composite? Prime numbers on a die are two, three, and five. Composite numbers on a die are only four and six. One is neither prime, prime nor composite. So there's three out of six for prime, two out of six for composite, those are not equally likely events, and therefore we can check them off such as this. How about blue versus green on these spinners below? It may look like they're equally likely because there's one blue out of three on spinner B and one blue out of three on spinner A, but you can very clearly see that the blue space here represents half the circle and the blue space here doesn't. Meanwhile, the green space only represents a quarter circle, and the green space here represents more than a quarter circle. Here, the areas of the spaces of blue and green are the same. Here, the areas of the spaces of blue and green are different. So, if we're talking blue versus green, let's say on spinner A, then no, those are not equally likely events because it's more likely you'd land in the blue space than in the green space because the area is much larger.